horse chestnut, Aesculus hippocastanum, and the hippocastanaceae or horse chestnut family. It's native to Greece and Albania. It's a very drought tolerant tree that's widely planted in the eastern United States. Like all members of the genus Aesculus, the leaves are palmately compound, but unlike the native buckeyes of eastern North America, there are seven leaflets that are palmately arranged instead of five leaflets as we find for the yellow and Ohio buckeyes. And like all buckeyes, the leaf arrangement on the stem is opposite. The stems are very stout, as they are for all buckeyes or horse chestnuts. And right developing at this point, you can start to see this bud that when it's finished developing later in the summer is a very sticky resinous bud. There are two really outstanding features of the horse chestnut that are missing from this sample. One are the flowers are in large clusters about 12 to 15 inches long in mid-May. And they're very beautiful flowers, but the tree overall is very coarse. Those flowers produce a large number of fruits that have a very spiny husk. And the seeds resemble a buck's eye as the buckeye fruits of the other members of the genus Aesculus. It's a very attractive tree, but it is awfully coarse for some people's taste, and it is quite messy, especially with the fruit that's produced, and those spiny husks are painful to walk on. It has a very nice pyramidal form, and the bark is also distinct in that it's rather scaly. It reminds me a lot of black cherry, but it's not as blackish. It's much more light gray in color. So widely planted throughout the northeastern United States, it is tolerant of all kinds of conditions and doesn't have any serious problems. Aesculus hippocastanum, the horse chestnut, and the hippocastanaceae.